In a world where lies are commonplace, where the media fights for clicks no matter the cost, much like a soul-starved devil down in Georgia ready to make a deal, where wacky ideas get blamed on inebriation, i.e. Modelo. Two men, well, one really manly man that's so manly he doesn't even have to try, and another man who can't walk on grass because of his Yeezys come together each week to break the ice and talk about the things that no one cares about. All right, America, get your brains ready for a feast. Here's some food for thought. It's time for another bad podcast. Is that good, Brennan? <laughs> hey, Brendan. Notice anything different about me? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, look at that. Check this out, guys. Hey, Ben. P99, Walther, James Bond gun. European-style pa- uh, paddle release for the magazine. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Decocker, trusty holster. Any more flaws try to come in here. Nine, nine millimeter parabellum to the dome. Okay, that was a little bit. I'm gonna take this off now because I know uh, I'm about to do my beer of the week. <laughs> this cookie is stale. I think they were sold as stale. Well, hey, anyways, I don't want to get away from this because you know how much I wanted this gun and for how long. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put it away somewhere. Don't follow me. This cookie still stale. Oh, those. No, no, no. Those are stale, yeah. Yeah. Those were bought several days ago. All right. This week's beer of the week. Black walnut wheat. Let's see what it says. Tasty Ozarks. Oh, is this made here? Piney River Brewing Company. Ale brewed with black walnuts. Buckets, burlap bags, and pickup truck beds are filled with black walnuts each fall in the Ozarks. The rich and lively. Did you watch? You liked that show, didn't you? Oh, was it the Ozarks? Apple cider. Oh, I love Ozark. On Netflix? Is it just called Ozark? It's called Ozark, yeah. Dude. Uh, The girl we used to work with in um, OGP, Brennan. She she said that she saw, uh, what's his name? Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman at this place she used to work at and she used to party at the bluff where they filmed that one scene where he was like thinking about committing suicide. Yeah. Anyways, back to uh, this. I don't smell the walnuts. Mm. You ever had uh, walnut ice cream? No, I don't. I'm not a huge... Today I had a brownie with walnuts on it and I picked the walnuts off, so... Um. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember what the name of the ice cream was, but I remember my parents used to get ice cream with walnuts in it. This hardcore reminds me of the flavor. Although now I'm just getting hit with the modern day alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> not the cream part of ice cream. Well, this week's not alcoholic drink drink of the week is um. An orange crush, courtesy of Ben's refrigerator. I will, I will be drinking one later. I wanted to get the beer of the week out of the way now. But the reason I bought those, man. I hit the mic. I started, I want to talk about nostalgia. Yeah. But the reason I got those is it was a big thing when I was young that when American Idol was still hot, oh, <laughs> you yeah. know? With, yeah. It was Simon, Paula, and who was the black guy? Um, Randy. Randy. Randy Jackson. Randy Jackson. Randy Jackson. Yeah, <laughs> there was another guy too, right? Or it was just those three? It was just those three at the time. And I, uh, but we would eat dinner and then like for dessert, like it was kind of like a little treat. Yeah, we'd have ice cold Orange Crush and watch the American Idol. That's awesome. So every time I see Orange Crush now, I think I want to be able to get my kids those same good memories. Yeah, but nostalgia, man. I don't. What does nostalgia even mean? Well, we could we could find. Like, Why don't question. we ever Google this beforehand? I don't know. Hey Siri, what's the definition of nostalgia? Am I saying that right? Nostalgia means a sentimental longing or wistful affection for the past, typically for a period or place with happy personal associations. I do like that 
definition right there where she said like uh, basically an affection or longing for the past. Yeah. Did I get that all the time? Especially Jake, if you hear this, I think about being next door neighbors all the time when we were kids. Well, we were next door neighbors. Like from the minute I have my first memory, me and Jake were neighbors. I was also neighbors with a kid named Jake. He was a Boy Scout. And he was my only childhood friend. I don't think Jake was a Boy Scout. But it wasn't the same Jake? It was probably not the same Jake. <laughs> well, where did you live? Because that would probably answer the question. <laughs> Unless he had some... Joke's points. on you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was. <laughs> yeah. um, no, he, he came over. It's weird to think I've lived here three years now. I just saw the memory on Facebook. Yeah. Three years in this house. Yeah. Congrats. Um, yeah, thanks. I haven't done anything to the home, basically. Painted it. Yeah. Put it some flooring. I've done some flooring, yeah, that's true. I've done flooring in two of like the eight rooms <clears throat> in three years. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, he he came over. I, remember, I don't remember what had happened, but he came over. And uh, we were just talking about old stuff. You know, like we used to play the old Sega mm-hmm. all the time, and then Nintendo. We used to play uh, Super Smash beer super smash brothers <laughs> sorry <Yeah>. daniel uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and then we would play oh on the sega did you ever play sega no i didn't dude i had we had the sega dreamcast and um we, uh what was it called it was uh it was like a, some kind of game pack it, it came with several games mm-hmm. there was like the knights of shinobi or something like this and then uh golden axe Dude, Golden Axe was the best game on Sega, man. Really? Yeah. What was it about? Uh, well, do you want the actual plot, or do you just want like the <laughs> what you do in the game? <laughs> what you do in the game is a shooter. <laughs> no, you played as like medieval knights. Basically, there was a dwarf, uh, some man in a speedo, and a girl in a sling bikini. Hmm. Why can't we go back to days where people dress like that in games? You know? <laughs> yeah. That'd be nice. <sighs> But thanks for the crush. <laughs> You're welcome. You know what's funny? It's still following the theme of my dad making that gay joke about it. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, yeah. But the but game... Last week was hilarious. Yes. <laughs> but we don't have to talk about it. You my, remember? Last week was hilarious. Yeah. Do you remember? Well, now I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I probably do remember. Uh, it was after we had gone shooting, and I, you were dropping me off, and I get out of your car. <laughs> We went, <laughs> we went, sh- <laughs> me, my dad, and Daniel, we went shooting, came home, and I, I just stopped in the street to drop them both off, because we were going to head somewhere, there, going separate ways, and I just instinctively said, bye, I love you. <laughs> and Ben's dad's like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, my instinctive <laughs> detective skills are kicking in. I guess that shows how much you like talk to Sable. And tell her you love her and your dad, I guess. And, oh yeah, and people that you would say that to. I just clacked really loud. I've been trying so hard to not do that, and I've also been trying not to say first of all. First of all, I watch. First of all, <laughs> I watch our podcast. Mm-hmm. I, is that a narcissistic thing to do? No, I watch most of them. Like I watch them full length, mm-hmm. and I laugh at myself. Like I'm like, dude, that was a good joke. <laughs> that was a good joke, dude. I don't think that's narcissistic. I just think it's. Been narcissistic. Okay, is this part narcissistic? If I could sit down and listen to me, I would. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. No, I hate my voice, but... Oh, me too. I'm sorry for how I sound. Oh, I'm also a little sick this week, so... Um, this episode should be brought to you by Dayquil. Vicks Dayquil. Uh, but it's for, night. It's nighttime now, but I bought it during the daytime, so it was good. In fact, it's illegal in a few other countries. Yeah. Probably Venezuela. It's yeah. probably illegal to have Dayquil in Venezuela. It's probably well, illegal to have a cold. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. You go to jail. <laughs> uh, there's a funny bit from that in the uh, Parks and Recreation. Oh yeah, <clears throat> I'm not gonna go into it. I kind of, okay. dude. Look, I'm having so much trouble even thinking right now. I'm so tired. Yeah. What was I talking about? Nostalgia. No, 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 no. What was the last? Uh, um. We went shooting. I go back and watch our videos. Oh yeah. But what was <clears throat> I getting to? Um. Your sound? Yeah, I just did it again. <laughs> well, and I go back and I watch them, and 
Dude, first, for the, f- <laughs> the primary thing I noticed <laughs> was that I would clack a lot. Mm. And it was annoying to me as a listener. Mm-hmm. So I imagine it's annoying to the real listeners. The next thing was, I would say, first of all, all the time. Really? Kind of working on it. Uh, the third thing is just from actually doing it as I burp all the time just yeah. because of this. And I can drink beer any other time and it's not a problem. But as soon mm-hmm. as I want to start talking. Something about the air. Just something about the air, man. Yeah. Remember the happening? I do. That was a good film. That was. Yeah. I remember people saying how stupid it was. And I was mm-hmm. like, it's it was ahead of cool, its though. time. That's why most good things are like that. They're ahead of their time. People will like crap talk it. But now with climate change, it's my man. favorite movie. You know how many people would champion for that now? They're like, yeah, plants go, kill the humans. Ah! But they never watched it, so they don't know. Speaking of watching, I was completely wrong about The Dark Crystal. Oh, yeah? Does it get better? It gets much better. I, that's why I'm so tired right now. <laughs> You're up watching it. I get up at 6 every morning, okay? Mm-hmm. So I go to bed about 10, 11. Dude, I was up till past midnight watching this. I don't know. Dude, I've gradually... I've been in this uh I've been in this new position for about I think this is going on my fifth week. Yeah. And gradually each day I can feel myself more and more tired. And I go to bed earlier and earlier and I'm worried with what's happening to my body. I was telling you earlier or the other day, lack of sleep will kill you. Hey, I might already be there, bro. Yeah, you can't get back lost sleep. It's um Yeah. But I do it too. I mean, I sleep terribly. I mean, in a terrible manner. Like, have it. Might not be able to get lost back sleep. But, <laughs> I'm going to continue to get some good fever ship on that dark crystal. Yeah. Man, I, I will say though, everything that I did say was correct, but I don't find it a negative, like, reasoning to not like it anymore. Mm hmm. All the things that I did say was true. I wish they did some really cool things, honestly. They, I think they messed up the lore a little bit, but they kind of brought in some like new characters and new ideas that I just thought was cool. Yeah. I know you didn't finish the first, um, the, the movie, right? Yeah, I couldn't focus. Well, basically, there was a set of Skeksis and <clears throat> the bad guys. Mm-hmm. And, uh, in this one, they've added in a bunch more, so it kind of, I don't know, I don't I can't explain it. It's just, they really did a, I don't know, I can't, yeah. breakdown of speech. Let's just go on to something else. Okay. I can't um, articulate it. <clears throat> I'm going to buy a new gun already. Yeah, the PPS. PPS. I keep wanting to say PPSH. <laughs> I was homeschooled, so we didn't watch that. Like in school? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, different thing. PBS? Kids? Oh, no, I didn't watch that either. <laughs> what did you say? PPSH. What is that? Oh, psh. That's that gun from World at War. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't... I didn't play video games. Oh, you weren't alive then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The want taste is getting stronger. I don't know if I like it. The orange uh, taste. It's getting better. Is staying the same, but I'm starting to taste that real cane sugar that it's made with. Shout out to Crush. Uh, I think they're uh, they're a part of the Coke, the Pep Pepsi Cola company. Do you know in like Pakistan, uh, Dr Pepper slash Seven Up actually? So thanks. In like Pakistan, they don't have uh, peas, so they would say Bebasi. <clears throat> yeah, I did know that. That's insane. Yeah. And then aspirin is called aspro. Uh, but it's got a P? As, as, did as, you say aspro? Uh, but the guy I was listening to wasn't from Pakistan. He was from India. So maybe in India they have a P, but he traveled in Pakistan and they only had Bs. Could be onto something. I don't remember. Dude, at this moment, at this juncture in time... I'm surprised I'm still here speaking. Well, dude, 
lack of sleep leads to Alzheimer's. And you end up killing people. I remember watching the X-Files episode. They cut the brain stem. What? Do you not remember that? No. Dude, I loved the X-Files. And I can't believe I wasn't in my honorable mentions. <clears throat> we have to redo that. I know, because I'm not really happy with my choices. I'm not. I mean, I am happy with my choices, yeah. but I'm unhappy that I forgot a lot of... It's really hard to narrow down. It is. And I want to add that my movies and shows are changing like all the time. Like A couple of those will always be in my top at least 10, especially Lord of the Rings. But uh, they're always fluctuating based on what I watch. Dude, I feel like I forgot to mention School of Rock. You did. No. I, I did mention it? No, you did mention or it. Or I did forget. No, I think you did mention it. Also, coupled with lack of sleep, <laughs> I've been eating the same meal every single day. The sandwiches, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if you know how I eat my sandwiches, but I don't. I don't mind bologna. I'll eat bologna, bologna and American cheese. But I don't eat just bologna and American cheese. I'll cook me a big pot of peppers and onions, and brown sugar, and bacon. And that's some stuff, and it makes almost like a jelly. Yeah. When it when it like cools down, I will slab some mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, bologna. Then I do my then I do my peppers because you can't have it touch the bread because when it gets warm, it kind of gets a little bit li- liquid. You don't want your bread wet. Then you cover that pepper jelly stuff with your cheese. So I, I pre-make six at a time. Yeah, set them in the fridge. Come home, hungry, eat it. Go to work, take it. Eat it on my lunch. Little little contain, can, 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 canister of chips. <laughs> yeah, it's like meal prepping. Yeah, yeah. I meal prep, but with bologna. <laughs> I kind of am trying to get away from the bologna because I got really thick bologna. It's a super kit. Do you like it's, turkey? I bought turkey. Yeah, the 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 round turkey. I didn't get uh, like shaved or whatever. It's just like the round that's in the same package. It's like bologna, bologna turkey bologna. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't like hot dogs, and so after I bought this super thick cut bologna, and I was eating it, I was like, man, like, this is a hot I'm dog. just eating a hot dog. Yeah, a circle hot dog. I don't like this. Yeah, a pancake dog. I've never liked bologna or any of those. Oh, I like bologna. You know, you know what? Me and my dad also like to just get a thing of bologna. Yeah. Roll it up, have me a Tabasco pepper, bologna, Tabasco, bologna, Tabasco. <clears throat> what if you rolled up the Tabasco pepper in the roll up in no. the bologna? You don't, you don't know. And then you could add some cheese. Oh, and then some bread, and then flatten it out. Oh, and have a sandwich. <laughs> have a sandwich. <laughs> now, um, <clears throat> speaking of, I like really red Tabascos. Yeah. We leave them on, my dad's got a pepper plant, and he just leaves them on for me because he knows how much I love them I love them I love red do they get hotter dude well, I don't know if they get hotter or what Just but better. because I haven't eaten a green one in so long I don't know if they get hotter or not but yeah. dude these Tabascos my friend the other day gave me those chocolate habaneros and those other peppers I haven't tried that lemon pepper yet but. Um, I didn't like the taste of it but um my friend gave me a big bag of peppers. <coughs> it feels weird because I know that there's got to be people listening to this without watching. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like I'm connecting with them right now. He's looking into the camera. Just I'm looking at you. He's looking yes. At you. you. You mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching. My friend gave me a big, uh, not a big bag. Yeah. A medium bag. Not even a medium bag. It's a sandwich bag. Right. Which is probably the smallest of bags. Considering, it's not considering the how big bags get, yeah. Yes. There's the there's Trash the bags. snack, then there's the sandwich, <laughs> pint, quart, gallon. Uh, he gave me a sandwich bag full of different peppers, all kinds. You know, the lemon, what do I call it? Lemon pepper. Did lemon it? drop. Lemon drop. It was called a lemon drop. There was some kind of peach pepper. There was something that looked like a butthole. It was a Brazilian pepper. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me a scorpion three chocolate habaneros <laughs> anyways he gave me a bunch of hot peppers the moral of this story there's two one of the peppers he gave me I remember eating it was um, <clears throat> I think last Sunday you were here we were finishing up the last podcast and I was in some major pain Dude, this pepper wasn't hot. It hurt. It really? just stung me. I bit into it a little bit, you know? And it wasn't, I wasn't like, <gasps> it was just a burn. Yeah. I, like, not, okay, not, not, 
it burned like a chemical. I didn't feel like a heat, like I needed to go drink something. It just felt like... Oh, really? <laughs> it felt like I ate acid. It was the weirdest sensation, dude. Oh my Th- God, there yeah. was nothing natural about that pepper. Anyways, um, <clears throat> that Tabasco, my, my, my dad's Tabascos, are like hotter than a lot of these peppers. Really? Well, I, I say that... I say that, but I don't. I don't know how to really frame it. But I get, I get more worried about to eat these Tabascos as far as are these going to be hotter because they range a lot. But do you think I could make a salsa out of that lemon drop pepper with like lemon? You juice? need to taste it first. I didn't like the flavor of it. Well, we like different things. We do. <laughs> I really like uh, <clears throat> pickled Tabascos. I guess pickles. Sport peppers. That's what yeah, you yeah. peppers. We were talking about that with Chicago dogs. Those. Yeah. I'll Me. talk about sport peppers every episode of this podcast. <laughs> okay. I love them. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so, you know, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stroke. <laughs> I don't even remember. Uh, off from that, I don't even remember where I was. I can't even complete. Dude, I am so tired right now. I don't even know how to. Well, imagine how tired I am after my trip to New York and back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't actually go. <laughs> no, he was scheduled to go. Some complications came up. It's nobody's fault. Meaning your boss hates you. And now it's time for the uh, commercial break. This episode is brought to you in part by Crush and in other part by Dick's Dayquil. Get a nice focus on that logo on the pill. Okay. Uh, and when conjoined... We just got deponetized. Jug use. It makes a great snack that tastes like orange juice. And wow. And this I next like message this that. next message is brought to you by Learn Everything. Check them out on YouTube. When life gives you lemons, don't make dolphin noise lemonade. Make lemon batteries and then power the and then power your death ray and take over the world with those. Seriously though, lemon batteries, can we talk about that? Yeah, we can, but I just want to add so we don't get sued or anything. That it's not this episode is not brought to you by anyone. It's not sponsored as of yet, and uh, we're open to sponsors. How can you be so sure, dude? We will get decimated. They'll be like, "Take that off YouTube." Here's a word I want you to realize, especially since we used it. Decimated does not mean oh, what you're you right. think it yeah, means. Yeah, I know. Go ahead, tell me what it you're means. looking for. The word obliterated. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> decimated means to reduce by one tenth. Look, I have a Facebook account too. I've seen that picture. Um, here's some news for you. <clears throat> I didn't learn that from Facebook. Where'd you learn it from? I haven't seen that on Facebook. Oh. Do you remember the TV show Monk? Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. He's Monk, a detective? Yeah. He was afraid to do pretty much mm-hmm. anything. Monk taught me the word decimated, the word slander, <laughs> the difference between slander and libel. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Monk, I missed a lot. Monk taught me a lot, especially that having a fear can keep you from having real happiness. Amen to that. Yeah, so I still haven't found my happiness. <laughs> so we shouldn't watch this episode, I guess. No, she knows I'm kidding. In a way, I've already talked about not being happy. Yeah. A lot. Not that I talk about not being happy a lot. I talk about not being happy a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if it's the day quill kicking in or what. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if my day quill is kicking in or not. Still waiting to <laughs> still waiting to take the pill, but I'm getting the effects. Yeah. <clears throat> I meant that I don't talk about not being happy a lot, but I experience not being happy a lot. Oh yeah. But I think that makes being happy all the more better. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, because the, the sun shines a little brighter. Yeah. I will say, aside from the debilitating tiredness I've been feeling lately. Hold on. It's not debilitating. I say debilitating. De- I can't Are they even different speak. words? Debilitating. Is debilitating a word? Debilitating? Yeah. No, debilitating. Oh, that's what I was asking. Did I say debilitating? No, you said the right one. I was saying that I say the other one, the wrong one. So I was making sure yours was right. Hey, tomate, tomat, potato, potat. <laughs> okay, it's all continue. good. I say. I say, um, oh, I can't even think of a good example of a word that I say wrong all the time. There's so many times 
that I go to say a word and the cadence of the word just comes out completely wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've noticed that. And one of them you said, um, I was listening to us on iTunes and Spotify, both of which we're now on. So check us out there. Bad podcast. Um, we didn't do the intro. I know. Brenda, <laughs> I'm Ben. This is Daniel. And welcome to another bad podcast. I'm sorry, we need to work on that. I want to say, I'm Ben. I almost think we should do a pre-recorded one and play it over every episode. That's smart. Yeah. Although I wanted every intro to be different. Yeah, that's true. We just need to say it. Are we breaking up? No, we just need to say it when we do it. You're right. I can't believe we forgot. I was too excited about the Walther. Yeah. Whoops. From now on. I'm sorry that I keep dropping stuff on the tables on all the episodes. You're about to piss me off, boy. Okay, continue. Boy, uh, <clears throat> aside from my debilitating... Yeah. Sleep. Lack yeah, what? Sleep? No, I was saying, yeah, that's where we were. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from my my extremely exhaustive state, mm-hmm. I have been a lot more happy. These, I, the, the job change. I'm a person that I, I feel like, no, we talk. We talk. We have good conversations. Mm-hmm. But I, I genuinely, like, Generally and genuinely, don't really want to talk to people. Yeah, agreed. No offense to anybody. Just... Yeah. So, uh, in fact, as a supervisor, I think I made a lot of people unhappy that way because I was more of just like, stop talking to me. Just tell me what the problem is. And yeah. I don't care why you can't come into work today. Are you going to be here or not? Mm-hmm. Not? Okay, fine. They're your points. I don't care. I was just like, the, I wasn't the emotional dude. When I say emotional, I mean, I wasn't very caring. Right. We're all emotional. I laughed a lot, though, because people do some stupid stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Including me. Most of the time, probably just me and I laugh at myself. <laughs> uh, but the change in job, like, not really anybody talks to me, you know? And when somebody wants to talk to me, they'll try to call me on the radio, which I just recently got, like, this past week, and I left it at home for most of the week. And then the button to respond doesn't work, so I have to plug in my mic. But I don't like wearing my mic, so yeah. I just leave it turned on. And if I hear my name, I'm like, okay, maybe I can walk to them before they start <laughs> calling me again. Uh, but honestly, you can go my whole day without talking to a manager. Not that I don't want to speak to a manager, but I, I feel like I'm a very self-motivated person. That's I don't, good. Yeah, I don't really need anything else to get me going. And I take pride in what I do. And uh, so, yeah, I don't really need a direction. I just need somebody maybe come in the day, spend five minutes and go, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want. Can you do it? No. Then you're fired. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you do it? Yeah. Okay. See you later. See you at four o'clock. Yeah, that'd be ideal. It is ideal. And I'm, I've got that about 80%. I want it to be 100%. <sighs> Amen. Amen, brother. Yeah. Uh, I'm off earlier, which... I see my parents more. I feel like I see Sable a lot more. I'm cooking a heck of a lot more. Cooking for Sable, to be more exact. I don't know. I just like... uh, I would like to see what having a actual office job would be like. Yeah. You know? I don't know, man. I'm so tired right now. And I started getting sick, too, this past week. Hey, me too. I think... I, I think mine finally arrived, though. My sickness. Sable is barfing her guts out, man. Yeah, the flu's coming around early this year. Tell him to go back home. <laughs> yeah. We don't want his kind here. Yeah, and just skip next <clears throat> year, too. Raise hell, praise Dale. Amen. There's so many... I don't know. I just The other day, I was so tired, I had a splitting headache. I've never been so tired I had a headache before. I, I had a headache going to bed... I wake up a few hours earlier or later to go to the restroom, and just after getting up, I was, dude, I've never wanted to cry from a headache. This was the most pain I've ever experienced. I for, I was about to start chemo right then. Yeah. No, I get those a lot. Um, uh, some of you watching will know. I get really bad headaches. And some of you listening won't know. <laughs> what did I say? Some of you watching will know. Or, or listening. I'm kidding. Screw off. Anyway, <laughs> that's my line. Was that uh, our first thing? Yeah, that's why, Screw that's off. why I say it every time. I, it, 
That should be in the intro, actually. Anyway, note to self. Um, yeah, I get more like note to Brennan. <laughs> Sorry, Brennan. I get terrible headaches, and uh, I used to call them debilitating headaches until I learned that it's <laughs> <laughs> debilitating. But I get really debilitating headaches, and I guess it is lack of sleep. I don't know what else it could be. Um, sometimes I'll get headaches, and then I go, I probably should drink water for the first time. Oh this yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't ever drink water. <clears throat> the last time I drank water. Was when I worked in OGP. <laughs> that was over a month ago. Wait, 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 you mean the last time you had a glass of water? Yeah. Really? Just water. I yeah. drink soda or beer or tea. How are you alive? <laughs> and let me tell you a little story about my life, man. Okay. My mom was just up. <laughs> starting in... Starting in uh, Starting in kindergarten, my mom started subbing at the school I went to. And as the years progressed, she followed me from school to school. Well, when we got into middle school, every single day, she'd bring me a Coke. I had a Coke every single day for lunch. I don't remember ever drinking milk or water at lunch. Ever since middle school, being, I don't know, what age is that? Seven. No, 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 no. 11. No, no, no. 11 or 12? 13, 14? No, no, no. 14, I was in, 14, I was in seventh grade. Yes. Is that high school? No. I forget you've not been to school. <laughs> I Did honestly, so sorry. Grade? I want to talk about something else right now, but okay. I can't wait, because wait. that person's probably listening. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, because if they're listening. Okay. I'd be so sad to hurt their feelings, but it's funny. Okay. Um, what? You're saying seventh grade? S- no, I was in fifth and sixth. I was in fifth grade when my mom started doing this for me. Oh. That I can remember. She may have done it in fourth grade. I don't remember. Uh, but I, I would... <laughs> uh, let's see. I was a year ahead of everybody. I mean, I was a year older than everybody. I wasn't ahead of them. <laughs> <laughs> I did have better grades than most, I, I would say. But uh, that's not helping me right now. <laughs> let's see. Uh, no, no, let's see. Uh, seventh, or seven in kindergarten, eight in first, nine in third. Okay. This is getting difficult for me. Ten in fourth, eleven in fifth. So I was eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay. I was somehow all of those. I think I was somehow all of those at the same time. <laughs> that's probably what you are now. So starting when I was about 11 years old. Okay. I had a Coke every single day for lunch. So I was 180 days, at least for school. Then when I went into junior high, me and my friend Jake, RIP, he's not dead. <laughs> Just the friendship? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, the friendship's not dead. And I want to talk about that too. This is for those that are not in your life, whether because they're dead or they don't love you anymore. Cheers, bro. All right. Uh, oh, my God. I cannot stop talking about a specific thing because if I do, I won't remember what I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, and, and we started walking home from school. And on our way home, we would stop at, like, Subway. And in my recollection, it was like every day we'd stop at Subway. Mm-hmm. And I would get a $5 foot long. Now, at this time, my mom would give me uh, money pretty mm-hmm. much all the time to do this. That was a burp. Um... Do you want to know how I got why I got my first job? Yeah. My mom, my first phone was a Razor flip phone. Yeah. You remember those? Yep. I yep. forgot you were homeschooled. I don't know if you know. No, I, I remember those. <laughs> um, I don't want you to think I'm making fun. I I am. Yeah. But I always I wanted to be homeschooled, mm. and I want to homeschool my kids because the last time I went to the high school, and they have got to like go through like two sets of doors, and you have to be buzzed in and all kinds of stuff. I was like, yeah. Nah, nah. If my kid's going to prison, it's going to be because he committed a crime. Not because he was born and he had to go to a socialist school. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Freedom! Yeah. William Wallace. Mm-hmm. Circa 1620. 1522. 1522? No, I don't know. Dude, I was, were you giving was an actual close. date? William Wallace. No, I was not. Oh. I was going to give a real date about a fake thing. I think that's fake? based off a real thing. That, that's was. based off a real thing. Yeah, I was going to say, he's not fake. Well. Well, he is. 
But the Mel Gibson's a pretty Mel fake Mel Gibson dude. is fake, yeah. No, actually, he's pretty cool. His dad got some stem cell treatment. He hates Jews. Panama. Does he really? Yeah. I take back what I said. <laughs> I didn't know that. Do you remember all the things he'd say? No. Mel I'm, Gibson? I'm finding it. Yeah. I just know his dad got some stem cell treatment down in Panama. Yeah, his dad's dead now, okay? That Is guy's he? not alive. No. Look. You go to Panama for up. health? Yeah, because they couldn't do it in the U.S. Do you want to know why? Because they don't kill people here. What? They do all the time. Dude, I don't know. I'm seriously to the point where I'm delirious. Mel Gibson. What was we talking about? Dad. I wonder how many times we say what were we talking about. Hutton Peter Gibson is an American writer on something, a World War II veteran, the 1968 Jeopardy Grand Champion, and the father of 11 children, one of whom is the actor and director Mel Gibson. Okay, this is nothing about Panama. Dude, that's a personal fact that I know. But what I meant is... <laughs> he doesn't even know it. <laughs> what I meant is he's alive. No, Mel Gibson was on the Joe Rogan podcast a few years ago, and uh, he was talking about... They are talking about stem cell treatment. Dude, speaking of Mel Gibson, I've been wanting, I've been really wanting to watch Lethal Weapon. Is he in that? That's Lethal Weapon is what made Beretta kind oh, of really? a famous, famous thing. I didn't know that. But I don't know where to find Lethal Weapon because it's not on Netflix. Is that where you're searching like runs out like Netflix? Yes. You don't have Amazon, Hulu? I don't have Amazon. I don't have Hulu. Yeah, I think I pay too much for subscription services. <laughs> Yes, you do. <laughs> but I will gladly use your Amazon if it's on there. And then there's this actor I like who's going to be in a new Disney Plus show. So I'm like, now I got to get Disney Plus. Or, oh, or Apple Plus. App, so Apple has their own. Disney has their own. There's Hulu. There's Netflix. Marvel Why? has their own. Um, FOMO, dude. FOMO. Yeah. That's five right there that I can think of. And then I think there's like Venmo or maybe that's the payment app. Vimo, Vumu. There's all kinds of shit. Vimeo? Vimeo? Vimeo. There's there's another one. What is it with V? I guess because it's like video. Probably. <laughs> okay. So, anyways. <laughs> I had a Razer phone. Okay. How did we go from that, dude? <laughs> you know what? We're, we're, you know what started this? What? Water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So how are we here now? Why are we even trying to plan this out, man? This is gold. I know. <laughs> Dude, we should have the U.S. Mint come here because we produce f- gold. Yeah. Dolphin noise. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, Razer flip phone. Right. That was my first phone. Well, it wasn't technically my first phone, but it was mm-hmm. technically the first phone that worked mm-hmm. for phone calls. Uh, I, remember, I still remember my mom's cell phone number. Uh, go ahead and what was it? Oh, she doesn't have that <laughs> same one anymore. Thank you. Anyways, do you remember Nokia phones? Yeah, I do. Those that was one of my first non like it couldn't call. It just yeah, mine wouldn't call. What is it with people just having phones like during that period? You just would have a phone, but it wouldn't it didn't have service or anything. Oh, because your parents loved you. Yeah. If your parents gave you a phone, they loved you. I'm sorry, Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that's where I would play Snake at. You yeah, know? and my dad where he worked. He would always give me his old work phones. So I ended up having like six phones by the time I got my actual phone that could call out. Uh, The Razor phone. God bless its soul. I couldn't stand it, but I really wanted a phone. And uh, if I wanted to walk home, I had to have a phone. It was cutting edge for its time because it was like so thin. Yeah, you could flip it. Cutting edge. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Too bad I wouldn't work when I did this. Oh my god. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> that too. Cut out my heart! I died of this f- life! That's um, real. Yeah. I'm actually happy right now. Don't <laughs> don't report me. I don't don't call global investigations. Uh what was I talking about? But, but there were a few times when I would need to call mm-hmm. and I try to make a call. And then the call wouldn't go through because my mom hadn't paid the bill for it. Uh, In that moment, I remember being so irritated. I'm like, I'm going to go buy my own phone. <laughs> and they don't make these particular phones anymore, but they were, it, it wasn't a flip phone. It was at the time when a non-flip phone seemed like, wow, that's still made. Mm-hmm. And I bought it 
for like 15 bucks. Dang. Yeah, and I remember texting with it. You'd still have to like... The keyboard, right? <laughs> there was no keyboard. Oh, oh, yeah. I think it was called T9. Yeah. You'd hit a button and it would right. start doing the possibilities. Sequence, yeah. I loved that phone. Honestly, I did. Maybe it was because it was the first phone I paid for, mm-hmm. but I love that. And so it was like 25 bucks a month, I think, that I'd pay and I'd get so many messages or whatever. Man, I want to try to find that phone. I, I should just switch to it today. Yeah, you should. Get, get me off my phone. I remember when you had a BlackBerry. Oh, I don't anymore. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I thought I still did for a second. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> No, I just recently had a BlackBerry. Mm-hmm. I think that's what Daniel's referring to. Yeah. I recently had two different Blackberries. And I would have had a third, but um, AT&T Didn't wasn't get selling it. it. Yeah, I could have bought it from BlackBerry, but that would have been a little bit more. Right. I don't know stuff. I don't know a lot of stuff. I especially don't know that kind of stuff. I don't know anyone that does except AT&T. Who do? You do. Do what? Have the power of the babe. What babe? The babe, the, the what power? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But do they? <laughs> I can't do that for very long. This is why you have to watch the podcast and not just listen to it. Because you just missed all that. But they could probably feel it. Yeah. Especially if they're connected to us. Right. Somewhere out there, hopefully your brother is listening to me and knows that I really wanted him to be on that first one. Dude, he will be whenever he comes down next. next I really don't want him to hate me. No, I don't think he does. I mean. Again, you had to look at the <laughs> thing. Uh, I was talking about this phone. I don't remember what it was called. It was it was just a cheap phone. Mm-hmm. It was through Straight Talk. I don't, actually, I don't even know if it was Straight Talk. It was another like prepaid service, but... Um, to pay for that, when I went into high school, <clears throat> I had a friend. You guys remember Trey Odell? Who? Trey Odell. It was on The Voice. Yeah, I do. He won, he's probably the best singer I've ever heard in my life. In person. I've never heard anybody in person that I thought mm. sounded better than him. That was a dude. Okay. Yeah, he's doing some cool things right now, I believe. Uh, yeah. Me and him try to be in a band. That didn't work out. Mm. Uh Oh, God, man, I can't. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't think. Your phone, your job. Job, oh, my job. You remember CBO? Christian no. Book Outlet? No. Yeah, on the square? No. Okay, no. Uh, well, they had a warehouse, because there were several stores, and this mm-hmm. warehouse kind of distributed to the different ones. Mm-hmm. I worked at the warehouse doing different things, and uh, that's basically where I made the money to, first of all, buy my first vehicle. I bought a 440 Kawasaki LTD. I should probably say Kawasaki 440 LTD. Mm -hmm. Did I already... Did I say that the first time? No, I think you said a 440. Yeah, you don't say it like that. You say Kawasaki 440 LTD. Is that a motorcycle? Yeah, it's a motorcycle. Uh, And it was a 1981. It had a... Still had just a regular carburetor and an actual clutch cable. And, well, I... They all got a cable, but the way it connected... It was kind of sketchy. Yeah. It broke on me twice while driving. Oh, man. Yeah. After the second time, I said, boop, this, okay? <laughs> I'm getting a, a one that can... I never wanted a car, okay? Yeah. I always thought that driving a car was a lot of guessing because you can't ever see where your wheel is. You can't mm-hmm. ever see your front. So it's, driving is a lot of guessing. I mean, that's why they put a camera on your car so you can see where you parked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anytime I park, I hit that camera button just say, oh, yeah, um, that's pretty good. Yeah. Or like, hell no, I'm leaving in case somebody saw that. <laughs> uh, I worked there for, I think it was like 725. Worked there about maybe even less than a year. My first bike, by the way, was a thousand bucks. Picture of it on Facebook. I'm I've holding a thousand dollars. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, back when you think it's cool to hold a thousand dollars. Yeah. And then you go, wow, a thousand dollars goes really quick. Yeah. Uh, I basically make a $1,000 payment on my credit card every month. Jeez. I'm getting out of that habit. That was a bad habit. <laughs> I don't have, I haven't done that in a while, but for about two years there. Mm-hmm. Dangerous times call for dangerous measures. <laughs> when you want to live on the high end of life with eating <laughs> lobster every night. Just kidding. I wouldn't eat lobster. I just don't eat ramen. Uh, 
You don't eat what? I just don't eat ramen. I hate that ramen. Like, like 19 cent ramen. Oh, yeah. Can't stand that stuff. Yeah. What were you thinking? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, I worked there until they laid me off. You know what's funny? They laid me off as soon as I got my next bike. Really? I didn't pay my next bike in full. It was about a $4,000 bike. Oh. And uh, luckily, I found out later. I didn't know then, but my dad had actually paid for it right there, and I just mm-hmm. was paying my dad because I was supposed to pay the bill through him. I didn't realize that he was actually the creditor. Yeah. Uh, but that was a really cool thing. I want to do a lot of... I want. I want to be my dad for my kids. You can. You will. I can. You can. <laughs> His name's Ken. Oh. No. I know everybody like has this image of their parents and how good they are, but... Dude, I'm, this goes for my mom, too. But coming to like things such as my motorcycle, mm-hmm. uh, my dad made it really possible for me to get a lot of this stuff. He never paid for anything for me. Like like that. I mean, I worked for it. Mm-hmm. But I later found out that I was just paying him because he took care of. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't stuck paying interest like crazy, you know. I was just paying him. Yeah. I don't know. My dad did some really good things and didn't. He's never bragged about, you know. He didn't do it to like get some kind of good points from it. Right. He just did it because he loved his kid. I want to be that kind of dad. Uh Oh my god, I forgot already. Oh, I got laid off as soon as I got that bike. Yeah. And I'm like, holy, just bought a, this bike and I don't have, how am I going to pay for it? Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy is my friends from junior high, their mom just happened to be opening up the new pizza store in town. Brick oven. Oh, you were there at the start? Yeah. Dang. Damn it, you don't know this? I didn't know that. You know what it feels like to like do something and you feel like you are the top dog and you feel like you've done it for a while and then once you leave, you're nothing? Yeah. Like, I walk in there now, no one knows who I am except like one or two people. You literally laid the brick foundation uh, of brick oven. Um. No, oh, come on, just go. I won't that. refute it. Yeah. <laughs> but I won't ex- like approve it. Okay. Uh, no, I did I did start there from the very beginning. It was really cool. I started there. Uh, I just walked in, and I saw her. Well, I won't mention names, I guess, but I saw her there, and I'm like, oh, what are you what are you doing? And she's like, I'm running the show. <laughs> like, can I get a job? <laughs> yeah, come on in. I didn't even have to apply. It was That's just. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, and I remember, like, starting out, there were, like, 50 people in the kitchen. Really? Like, I might be over-exaggerating it just from what I'm remembering now, but I remember there's a crap ton of people, and they just kind of, they hired a crazy amount to train everybody, and mm-hmm. then the ones that dropped out, they just didn't replace. Because okay. they, they wanted to get people and get them to learn and all kinds of stuff, but it was it was so cool because we would make the food, and we'd all get to try it. It wasn't like, I don't know, I I feel like, I'm not even making sense right now, but no, I, I really I really love that job. In hindsight... That was a really great job. Mm-hmm. Wait, oh. I had free food all the time. That's the best part about working in a food place. That is the best part. Yeah. Especially when you become like the senior. Mm-hmm. Like I was, I was probably 17 or 18, but I had been working there longer than half the other right. people. Yeah. It was like, yeah, you got questions, you come to Papa. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that place, man. Uh, paid off my bike. I ended up trading that in because I was going to go to the U of A. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I didn't want to... My dad was... I was driving that bike. That was solely everything I drove. When I wanted to go play with my friends, like, because we tried to start a few bands, I would put my, my amp on the back <laughs> of it because I, I had a back seat mm-hmm. and it was like a little rest on the back and I would set it on there and I'd bungee, bungee it to it and I would just put my <laughs> put my mo- uh, my uh, guitar on my back. Wow. <laughs> just drive around like that. I had a cup holder, so I would I always have a drink in my cup holder. Dude, I love that. That's thing. awesome. Simpler times, dude. Simpler times. Uh, I had leather saddlebags too, and I always I wear glasses mm-hmm. uh, for those that can't see me. You're I'm not, not wearing right my glasses <laughs> uh, to legally drive. I have to wear glasses. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have said legally to legally drive. Just to drive, I, I wear no glasses when I drive. Driving. 
I always legally drive. Uh, I would take my glasses off and put them on my saddlebag. One time I forgot to put my glasses back on. Hey, bro, I still haven't found those glasses, okay? Oh, really? Yeah, those are gone. How did you get home? That must have been illegal. Um, no, I got, off, I got off and walked my bike all the way home. <laughs> okay, good. I was a responsible teenager, good. and I called my parents to have them drive it. <laughs> Whoa, you hear that? I think there's a cat in there that wants out. I'm g- uh, Goose is freaking out. <laughs> also, why don't, you, why don't you play a commercial while I get me an Orange Crush? <sighs> this uh, episode, one of its many sponsors, uh, aside from Crush and Dayquil, uh, this episode was brought to you by the Walmart Market Side Deli. This is Walmart's own brand uh, to combat, like, you know, Mrs. Fields or other cookies that come in these kind of packages. Um, these, although were a couple days expired, because they it says Best Buy 9, 12, 19, and it's probably like 9, 16, 19 right now. It's probably the 16th. Uh, for being, you know, three or four days expired, they, they were pretty good cookies. I'd give them about a six out of well, that's being generous. I give them about a five out of ten. Uh, if they weren't stale, but they were. And Ben's back, so that that's it. <laughs> Sounded beautiful. Thanks. All I heard was mumbling. Yeah. Oh, dude, that just tastes like memories right there, man. Yeah. Dude, have you ever had Peach Crush? Um, I don't remember. I've had Knee High. Does it taste like Knee High? No, I like Knee High. Uh, it's kind of, but I wish they made it in the glass bottle, dude. I'm sure they do somewhere. So Knee High? No, Peach Crush. I had it in plastic bottles. It wasn't as good. But um, I also saw on Facebook someone I used to work with and that you guys were, well, used to work with as well. Who works in Berryville with Sable? <laughs> uh, shared a picture of some some uh, ruby red squirt, which squirt is like a grapefruit drink. We sell that at our store. Do we really? Yeah. Squirt, yeah. Ruby red, though. Sorry, oh. it's a specific flavor of the squirt. Of the <laughs> okay, of what I don't understand is squirt is grapefruit flavored, right? But then, what is ruby this red? One is ruby red grapefruit. I don't know. I guess isn't thing. grapefruit the flavor of grapefruit? Okay, but when you go and buy a squirt, it's clear. It's like Sprite or something. It's not clear. Well, it's like cloudy. It is cloudy. Yeah, it's white essentially. Yeah. Um, the ruby red one, I'm guessing, is like pink or red. Does it taste different? I hope. I don't know. Are I you haven't had it? Facebook. Or, no, I haven't had it. Do you want to go? I'm gonna go order some on Amazon this weekend. Right you want to go get some? Yeah. Hey, you want to go shooting in Berryville? Yeah. They're, apparently, they've no, got like a they don't range. Have it at Berryville. Her grandparents drove 2,000 miles or... Oh, hell, I'm not driving that for your Ruby Red. <laughs> and brought her some, like from Texas or something. I don't know. Oh, I saw the picture where they're bringing her all kinds yes, of snacks. that was one of it. Shout That's one kind Kaylee. of delivery service, man. <laughs> Shout out to Kaylee. Yeah. Kaylee's a, Kaylee's a good people. Well, that's why we just had that conversation. Yeah. Apparently, she's such good of a people that are... I don't people, know if it was 2,000 miles. People <laughs> drive 2,000 miles. I think that's what she said. Yeah. Maybe like a joke. Because I think you could drive across America in like 4,000 miles. Really? I think so. I don't know enough to argue. I mean, that sounds okay to me. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, Siri. How long would it take to drive from New York to California? to Sacramento was light, so I'm estimating one day, 15 hours, and 33 minutes via I-80 West. Okay, Ben, use your math. 15 hours from New York to California? No. One day and 15 hours. Oh, one day. So use your math and tell me if you were going like 65 as an average the whole way, how many miles is that? Well, you can't do it like that <laughs> unless they said you're going 60 miles. Did they say that was you, the average They speed? say you're on, you're on an interstate, which like 65 Okay, that, so what you would do is a day and a half would be 24 plus 12, yeah? Mm-hmm. So it's 36, 36 times 60. Okay. I don't know what that is, 900? Sure. 9,000? 9,000? I don't know. You have Siri. <laughs> I forgot what the equation was. <laughs> okay. 
That doesn't seem right. As in Miles, that doesn't seem right. That seems that doesn't seem like. I don't. I don't feel like that's the accurate distance between here and, or between New York and California. Talk about something while I Google it. Okay. I guess I'll continue where I left off with. What? It's got to start with a nine. No, it starts with a one. <laughs> no, wait. I don't know what it starts with. Uh, 36 times 60. America is 3,000 miles across. Now, that sounds better as far as the equation that I was coming up with, but mm-hmm. that still doesn't seem right to me. Anyways, it doesn't matter right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Dude, remember Google Earth? Yeah. What happened to that? It's still... Who uses it? I don't. I use it every single day to look at our planet. <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't there like a Minecraft Earth? Or a uh, Lego Earth or something like that? Dude, I remember so many things that weren't real. <laughs> 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 that never happened. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. we also need to talk about the uh, Mandela effect. Yeah. Anyways, do you want to hear about the rest of my story? I don't know if it's important to you or not. Yes, it is. Because I could stop talking about it and probably not care. Dude, what is the story? Like, we've been on 15 different ones. I'm not sure which one you're on. (laughs) I'm talking about my time. uh, I don't remember. Oh. The reason I bought my phone. (laughs) I don't know why. I went way past the phone now. I've gone like five years past the phone. Right, but the reason you bought it. So that I could have reliability. Right. My mom is reliable, but I wanted to make sure that every time I used my phone, if it didn't call out, it was my fault. why, yeah. Uh, let's see. Brick oven. Mm-hmm. Great job. Uh, but after four years of working there, I made 815. My first day of Walmart, I made nine something. Four years, you only went up like a dollar? Mm-hmm. Dang. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I kind of lucked out, though, because I wanted to be the assistant manager there, mm-hmm. which was a salary position, but you had to work, like, um, 65 hours a week, like you were supposed to work 65 hours uh, a week, and it roughly came out to be, like, less than $8 an hour. I really? now make a great amount compared to that. Yeah. People underestimate how much Walmart really pays. I'll just say it's not a bad-paying job. It was definitely the best-paying job I had had going into it and actually to this date have had well I will say that there are people that I know that have that are are now aged aged adults with degrees and Mm -hmm. I make more than them Mm -hmm. I think several Walmart employees make more than them Walmart I think too many people look down on Walmart because of uh, I don't know they just think that you're a commoner or that you're an idiot if you work there Mm mm-hmm there's a lot of people that are working there trying to just make their buy their time while they're going to school. Mm-hmm. Or they were working there, got out of school, and they just haven't found what they're doing yet. Or they have a sick freaking talent, and they just haven't hit it in the big leagues yet. I'm talking about Brendan. Yeah, that was, that was our friend Brendan. I don't know if you guys... Do you know Brendan? He's filming this. I'm expecting Brendan one day to be basically... He could donate. He's going to be so big that he could just... Say, I'm going to give to charity a million dollars, and it would be me, because to him, I'm a charity case. Dude, I agree. A few days ago was the year anniversary of the Disturbed Facebook page sharing his his drumming video. When, listen, when a renowned artist recognizes someone who's never had their name anywhere, Mm -hmm. I think that means something. Yeah. Yeah. but yeah, I, I left Brick Oven and went to work at Walmart, and I've missed working at Brick Oven a lot. I hate the fact that this is all going to be recording my creaking chair. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, but I used to ride a motorcycle everywhere. I remember specifically one time I was going to go to school, and it was in winter time. And uh, <laughs> oh, I want to tell you about the stories about my clutch cable breaking too. Those are fun. Uh. I was heading to school. I used to have the same route every single day. I was pre- I made it pretty fine, and I got to this one road that was about halfway between school and halfway to my house or whatever, mm-hmm. and I hit some ice. Like, the whole road was iced, and I'm like, hell no. I drove back and stayed home. Really? <laughs> yeah. 
I drove everywhere on that thing. Yeah. And uh, I had driven on ice a few times. This was the one time that I was like, no, I will die. <laughs> I will fall. Uh, a clutch cable. So the way this connected, this was on my Kawasaki. Mm-hmm. There was like this little cylinder that was just welded to this cable, and that was welded to... I don't remember exactly what... It was somehow welded to like the clutch bar or a clutch handle bar or something. I don't know what it's called. I don't know motorcycles. I just know this specific part because it affected my life. Right. I drove to go see my friend Jake. His He was staying at his grandparents outside of town. I went out the back way a good distance. I was outside of town. I was coming back into town. Still outside of town. And all of a sudden, go to pull and it clunk, goes loose. Oh. And I'm like, oh, how am I supposed to shift? <laughs> Now, you can shift without a clutch cable, but it's very nasty. You remember mm-hmm. those like old-time cars, and you hear like... Yeah. <laughs> Is that what that's doing? It's gears grinding. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can shift gears if you match it perfectly, and it almost be flawless, mm-hmm. but... Come on. <laughs> come on. So, uh, we got... we. Uh, I remember we stopped, and my parents came out. We had a wrecker come. They took it, and we got it fixed. We replaced the cable, and I'm leaving from uh, high school one day, driving to go, I think I was going to go see my ex-girlfriend or something. No, no, I wasn't even dating her yet. This is really weird. It's, it's, life is just full of coincidences. I remember my bike broke down right in front of this person's like home. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, dude. It's just <laughs> Life is weird, man. Yeah, I agree. But after it broke the second time, I'm like, Dad, I hate this one. I just want to get a new bike. <laughs> I eventually traded the bike in because I was going to go to U of A mm-hmm. for a car. And uh, that was a grandma car. Got hit in it five times, I think. What was it? Uh, Nissan. Mm-hmm. Nissan Versa. It was a doozy. I love it. It was a manual. Mm-hmm. I miss driving a manual. I want to get into a manual. Well, that was going to be my condition for a new vehicle after that one got totaled. Let me just say, there was only one accident that I would remotely even take any modicum amount of responsibility for. And that was when I hit a deer. The deer was in the road, and I tried to swerve mm-hmm. out of the road, and it ran into me. And that's that time I had learned immediately, you never swerve, mm-hmm. just try to stop, or whatever. But every other time, I was rear-ended. I've been rear-ended in that car once. I was running in that car like three times. Yeah. Somebody hit my side view mirror one time. It's crazy how many like bad drivers there are out there, and you you're just Dude, constantly worried about someone I was, slamming into the back. When I still live with my parents, I used to park on the road. Mm-hmm. And you know, you have to be within one foot of the passenger the has to be within one foot of the, of the curb. Yeah. My mom wakes me up like yelling at me one day. Somebody hit your car, and I'm like, "Are you, oh my God. dude? I didn't even run out there. I was just like, are you serious <laughs> again?" Yeah, it man. had. This has gotten to the point where I was just like, "What oh, next? Well, 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 how bad could it be?" I go out there, and this woman was like, "I'm so sorry. I was trying to swerve and not hit a squirrel." And I'm oh like, my God. "You just cost yourself <laughs> thousands of dollars because of a squirrel." Wow. So like, she hit it hard. Like it wasn't just knocking the mirror off. It broke the mirror off and scraped the side of my car. They had to change some stuff. Yeah, I don't think most of the... Well, some of the people driving, I don't think they should be driving. Like, uh-huh. It's it's ridiculous, especially here, it feels like. You know when uh, Cory Booker said that quote about you need a license to drive a car when you need a license to buy a gun? Mm-hmm. It's like, dude, obviously the license system doesn't work. Yeah. People with cars who don't need cars, who are hitting people... I almost got hit when I was on my bike mm-hmm. many times. Mm-hmm. People are always talking about, you know, watch out for the biker or, like, don't put the grass in the road because the biker's going to trip. I was never the kind of person that was always like, no, I, because I, I would, I, you yeah, know, I drive the speed limit, you know, mm-hmm. I don't yeah. ever speed. I've only gotten scared of running off the road one time. I was going too fast around a corner and I didn't realize, oh. like, I had never driven this road before. I was, yeah. I was riding with my dad trying to keep up with him. And I almost went off the road Yikes. around a corner and I was pretty scared. Another time was when I was driving down to Jasper on that curvy road. Mm-hmm. There was gravel in one spot. There was like there's like this corner where you go like this, heading down to Jasper, and there's a, a gravel parking lot. 
And there's always gravel on that on road. road. Dude, yeah. I almost went down. I slid. Dang. So, I understand, like, how dangerous it is, right? I, I mean, I still have a motorcycle. I solidly rode a motorcycle for five years only without mm-hmm. having a car. Then I traded it out and got a car. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? What the hell was I even talking about? College. I don't think it was college. Oh, getting hit. Mm. I don't, I don't like, I'm not one of these guys that's like, watch out for bikers. Yeah. But I will say, I don't say watch out for bikers, but people watch don't, out for bikers. people don't watch out for bikers. Yeah. I almost got hit by a school bus one time because it didn't really? stop at a stop sign. The always stop or the five way stop. Oh my gosh. I, w- I was stopped. I had been stopped. A school bus is pulling up and I go to go and it just f- goes oh through. Oh my goodness. I had to slam on my brakes. Yeah. Maybe that's why people don't stop for school buses. They don't stop for stop <laughs> Dude, signs. if you allow one school bus to go and there's a train, they all try to go. Really? Yes. A tr- oh, whoa. I was in a weird headspace. I thought you meant, and there's a train. No. <laughs> and you let one school bus go and then the train's still coming and then they all try to go. I was like, how many times have you seen this happen? <laughs> anytime you let a school bus go, anytime you see a school bus go, and right. it's, they'll all try to go. Cause yeah, because they, they think it's, yeah. I don't want school buses go in front of me because they don't follow the rules, dude. The rule states like you "eeny, meeny, miny, mo." Right? You let one go, and then the rest stop, and then you let them yeah. go if you're kind hearted, you know. Mm-hmm. But you don't all just take the free pass from mm-hmm. the one. No, it's not how driving works. Get them out of there. The funny thing would be if that is actually a law that but they can it, all go. Yeah, <laughs> that would be something. Yeah. Uh, another time, I almost got rear-ended. I was trying to go to my aunt's house coming from 7 South, mm-hmm. going 7 North. Well, I was on 7 South going north. And I forgot where her turn was. And I kind of, I did stop suddenly. But even if somebody stops suddenly. You're supposed to be prepared. Like, I've had to stop You shouldn't be so god dang close. Yeah. I remember, I... I don't go fast and I don't break hard. Mm-hmm. I just was like, oh, okay. I need to slow down and take it right. I hadn't signaled before I started slowing down. This dude was hauling so hard that I went off to the right. Mm-hmm. If you were turning right and you went off to the right? I don't remember this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I didn't go off to the right. I think he drove off to the right so he could keep from hitting me. That's what happened. Yeah, people, I hate drivers in this town here's my third story hold on just a quick story when i have to turn like into my street you know i signal to get over but the people behind me it's up on cottonwood they're going so fast they want you to like get into the left lane if there's nobody coming like if you don't do that they'll flip you off like i shouldn't have to get into the other lane just to turn like let me just because people don't understand how to drive yeah they've and they're also sorry to inconvenience you with my life yeah it's like geez I'm sure the fucking party will still be there when you get there. <laughs> yeah, that two-second delay. Yeah. Uh, another time I remember distinctly where I almost got hit. I was driving on uh, next to my parents' road. Mm-hmm. Um, caps? No, not Caps. Uh, it's uh, Stevenson. Mm-hmm. I was driving on Stevenson, heading towards the five-way stop. You don't know what Stevenson is, do you? Main Street. It goes through Main Street? No, I don't. I mean, it does intersect with Main Street, but it's not on Main Street. Okay. The road in front of Cox. Yeah. And if you were to follow it up, it'll always stop. Mm -hmm. But you go down the hill. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm driving one way on this road. Yeah. I'm driving. This person is signaling to turn into a driveway. We cut in front of me. I'm driving, and they start going. Dude, they come like a foot from hitting me. Jesus Christ. And look, I'm going, and then they're like, they stop. They would have hit me if they had kept going. They finally stopped. Mm -hmm. Like, people not only don't watch out for motorcyclists. They don't. They just don't know how to drive, dude. They don't know how to drive. They don't want to take, they don't, people aren't patient. No, they don't like braking. Oh, my God, no. Like, ugh. But one thing I like watching are those Russian dash cam videos, like 15-minute compilations. It kind of shows that driving is a universal thing that people screw up at. Like I think humans just screw up a yeah. lot. Me and Sable, and you're gonna about to hear this in the next one, talked about are people basically good or basically bad? Mm-hmm. What do you think? 
Hold on. Uh, human nature. Yeah, I think human nature is basically... I don't know. I don't think you'll like what my answer will be. I have since I even gotten even... Oh, well, I, hands I down. think selfish, yeah. For sure. It's like about self-preservation. Mm-hmm. Preservation. Mm-hmm. Preservation. Yeah. So I guess that could uh, turn into a lot of bad... Yeah, it probably is bad. Well, and not even just self-preservation, but uh, I think the reason people think, like, say, well, that people are basically good is because all she knows is how people are in America are. Mm-hmm. And I believe America and other first world countries are basically good. Mm-hmm. But I would say much of the world would prove that it's basically bad. Yeah, I think I agree. Like, basic human nature is... I mean, did you hear about the I don't Australian know. like journalist or YouTuber who went with her boyfriend to go, I think, to... The Iran Island or whatever. Oh, they, they went yeah. to Iran just to. I don't remember if they got caught in Iran or Saudi Arabia. It was one of the Middle East countries just to prove how, you know, good the rest of the world mm-hmm. was. And they, they were being they got arrested and were sentenced to prison. And then they, which broke the story and released the story of another woman who was sentenced to a ten year uh, term. Yeah. In the same country for like illegally flying a drone. Really? Like, you don't think about it. Like, there's probably lots here about flying drones, but mm-hmm. I don't know. Just the rest of the world isn't. Yeah. Isn't sunshine and rainbows. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not like that here either, but yeah. I mean, people are basically nice here, I would say. It could also be just like an act, though. Like, not the niceness? Is. Yeah. I think niceness is an act. Yeah. I think there are some people who genuinely want to be nice, but even niceness, mm. I think even niceness is a selfish thing. Because if you want to be nice, it's because it makes you feel good. I think the truly unselfish person is the one who wants to be mean, mm. but does the nice thing. Yeah. Yeah. It could be true. But then there's the people who are truly, like, selfless and, like, kind. Like, you're talking about, like, your dad. And, like, I think a lot of parents, like, my But mom, he did it to make himself feel good. Do you know that? Or do you- I 100% believe that. Yeah. I don't think it's like, oh, he did it with only himself and his heart. I think he did it with me in his heart because it would make him feel good. Right. Well, you, yeah, I guess that's like, true. Like, if you want to go do something, if I want to go cook Sable a nice meal, mm-hmm. I want to make her happy. Well, why would I want to make her happy? Because well, making her make, to her. you know, making her happy makes me happy. Yeah. So it's it all goes selfish. Yeah. It only goes down. So I think if you hated somebody, hated their guts, but you still did something nice for them, mm-hmm. I think that's when I think it's truly selfless because. You're doing it for them and not how it makes you feel. Right. That kind of makes sense. I think it's kind of one of those things that's like, uh, duh. Of course, if you talk about it like that, then everybody's selfish. But I don't I don't know. I like to get into these little yeah nuances. Yeah, that makes sense. I do believe people are basically bad. Sable does not. Mm. I can see both sides of the coin, but I'm, I'm seeing your point right now, yeah. That like basic human nature is... I, I think of I think of humans as just regular animals mm-hmm. and any animal going off we we call things bad because we have sentience and the same actions that animals would do if we did are bad you can't just go fornicate in the street mm-hmm. but dogs will so you don't hold them to the same standards but what I mean is is that our nature is to be like an animal yeah and but for us with our sentience, we consider those acts bad. You know what I mean? How tired are you, dude? Pretty, but I mean, what else is new? You know? What else is new? What time is it? Jesus! What time is it? It's eleven o'clock. Really? I thought it was one o four. Yeah, <laughs> you're off by a little bit. Man. Um. Oh, I got this watch. This is my dad's watch. Hold on, is this sponsored? No, okay. I actually contacted this watchmaker, and they're like, "No, we can't help you." Really? Because I wanted to get it restored and everything. Because mm-hmm. I wanted to wear that. I'm like, no, we can give you a, a contact number of an employee that used to work here that cleans watches. And what like, the heck? Don't think so, bro. Wow. <laughs> no. I ain't sending nothing to nobody unless it's being to a company. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus. 
Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm going to be so tired tomorrow, too. Yeah, you got to get up at 5, dude. Or 6, dude. Six. I do get up at 6. And I go to bed now when I, like, get home from work. It's kind of sad. I don't stay asleep. Oh. I just go in there to watch Thinking something. That. Yeah, I watch. I watch commentaries, you know? Mm-hmm. I'll watch uh, commentaries on news or what's happening in the gaming world. You know what's insane? I'll wake up an hour later and go, hmm, <laughs> I went to bed watching Steven Crowder and I woke up to like some Japanese anime <laughs> thing. Well, kind of How yeah. to make a knife out of gluten. <laughs> I've I watched that. that. I've seen that too. Yeah. And also like how to make one out of bre- like wood and stuff. But um, yeah, it's crazy how many like kids YouTube channels there are where they're playing with toys or something. And they have like a million subscribers. There's at least like 20 channels that each have over a million subscribers and it's just two siblings and their parents like filming them like reviewing a toy or like playing in their backyard. It's because kids will sit there on YouTube and they'll click on one of those videos or their parents will put it on for them and then just a billion of those videos play. Do you know what I like to do? What? Because I don't want to just support any random people. Mm -hmm. I will go to playlists of channels that I like, and I'll go to bed watching those. So that it will go through the whole playlist of that channel instead of jumping between channels. Yeah, these ones, it's crazy. Um, It's like when you go to your job and you just know there's a seven-year-old making, like, your salary. A day. Yeah, a day. In one video. Dude... Not to like be a bummer. <laughs> Not to be a bummer, but you just bummed me. Yeah. I was talking about being happy and now I just want to die. Uh, I got to start a toy YouTube channel. I was watching about like how I, for the past like week, I, w- I would just randomly think, how do bug sprays kill bugs? You know? Oh, yeah. I finally looked it up and I watched a video on it. And I'm, I want to talk to you about that. I know I mentioned a little bit yeah, to you. Go ahead. But the other part would be to explain it for Brendan and, and the, then the viewer. The viewership. Or the listening ship. Mm-hmm. The Listen Dome. Spotify and uh, Apple Music or Apple Podcasts. Do you know I was going to have a little intro? It would be like, welcome to the Badlands. Dude, that's ours now. Trademark that. Well, there's already a show, but that's ours now. <laughs> uh, I was watching this. Uh, I, dude, the other day I was boom, 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 boom. I was learning every oh, single yeah. episode except for one. It was a little kid. It was just, it just kind of, I was watching this video and then automatically started playing the next one. And I, as soon as I hear, hi guys, <laughs> we're going to test how Raid works. <laughs> and this kid's little voice and he's, he's like wanting to see if this Raid spray will kill us fly or something mm-hmm. like that. And he's like, guys, as soon as I spray it in here, I'm going to have to move the camera back because it's dangerous. I'm like, who helped this kid set up a YouTube yeah. channel? Who gave him his camera? Dude, when I was his age, I'm assuming his age, when I was this kid's age, I was out playing with a stick as if it was a sword. I mean, if somebody said, hey, you know what a camera is? I'd be like, oh, what? Get out of here. This is my land. <laughs> yeah, but Where's the people? It's crazy. Freedom! How childhood has changed like that, though. Like, uh, like I don't plan on giving my... Here's the problem. Dude, we say that, but our kids are going to be hooked up from birth. Like, they're going to come out and this a VR headset goes on and they're in a better land because we're going to be in some dystopian, like, future. Here's what I'll say. There's a constant moment when, like, just like the slogan, Make America Great Again, I believe that there are, like, there's two mindsets. It's, like, one that thinks that there were great times. It's just, like, times are constantly changing. Mm-hmm. Like or like the no country for old men. It's like times are constantly changing, but does that mean the new times won't be just as good as the previous times? It's like just because you don't want it to change and you remember what it used to be like. Mm-hmm. So yes, I would like my kids to grow up the way I did, but at the same time, well, it's not possible. It's think. not possible because yeah. times are different. Yeah, you can't. You can't. If you if I were to do that to my kid and not give them a phone or whatever, I would probably negatively impact. I was seeing a thing that about like getting kids into like uh, computer programming at an early age because that's the jobs that are the future mm, yeah if you don't give your kid a phone yeah probably when they're a kid 
You probably are handy. You're stunting them for sure. Yeah, especially you're crippling the world we them. Live in. I mean, and it's not a bad thing. I don't. I think if everybody had the same childhood, it would take kind of like the uniqueness out of it. Like you can't. You'd be like, oh, your childhood is going to be exactly how mine was. We don't have anything to. Well, it's like about. boomers going around yeah. talking about. Oh, yeah. they're all only, only on their phone all the time. It's like. But is that even bad? Yeah, because everyone was reading newspapers when, before phones. Yeah, it's, it's like the world's constantly right. changing, and they remember the way the it used to be. Of, of distracting yourself has just changed. Like, yeah. Instead of you know being antisocial with a book or a newspaper or a brick tablet, you just you have a smartphone. And plus, you could be working. You could be being even more social than you are. You could be talking to your friend. Like, yeah. To boomers, be fair, I do believe there's serious issues, and we're the first generation to experience those issues. Oh, I wasn't. Yeah. Cell phone addiction is real, and I have it, like a lot, a lot of people. Do. The fear of missing out. I already yeah. said that. FOMO. A lot of people have that. Uh, dude, porn's been like a huge problem for people because of the increase of internet and phones. Yeah. So what I want to say is, <laughs> not to make fun of the boomers, because they're... Oh, I'm okay with making fun of the boomers. But, There's but, a few boomers I like, and they're like my parents, but... <laughs> I sit back and I go, yeah, everybody's staring at their phones is bad, but at the same time I go... But that is the world that's going to be. There will be screens right. everywhere. I mean, I was just watching a video on uh, how touchscreens work. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> They've just developed like audio uh, acoustic uh, yeah, like touchscreens. Yeah. And um, where, where sound is produced, sound waves are produced and they are emitted from one side of the, the screen to the other side of the screen. And any point that you touch interrupts that the receiving of that acoustic so wave so it knows basically where your yeah. your finger was pointed and that apparently it's like super easy and it's like they've come from uh oh what was the first i don't even remember what the first touch screen was called it's basically where there was two t- charge screens separated and when you pushed on it it would, it would push it and touch the other one i don't remember what it was called then we've gone to capacitive and then infrared and there was oh there was like two more and I don't even remember what they were but just technology is the future yeah for sure and it's it I I think all the time like man I want my kids to go out there and drink from the hose right and throw water balloons and bike everywhere you know like I do, me and my friends used to but that world's gone yeah it's a different time not that they can't have some of those experiences and not that that's bad in their own way yeah. I do think we are on our phones too much. We could definitely, like, I'm on my phone up to the point of going to bed, and there's just a myriad of reasons why that's bad for you. One of them is you're not you're supposed to kind of stay away from blue light emitting screens before bed. And they like two phones hours. have that now. Yep. Night yeah. mode. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, it's like the last thing I'm on, and then it's the first thing I'm on in the morning. You know, it's like just. FOMO, because you're like, oh, well, it's the, you know. Constantly scrolling, having 25 screens open. Now, that's what I mean. I believe it's the future, and I think the generations after us will have it better because we're the first generation to grow up with it. Test bunnies, yeah. Grow up with it and help develop the, like, next Mm -hmm. generation of great things Mm -hmm. of technology. And then our kids are kind of pretty much... They're going to get to just bask in the perfection that we've... Not only that, but I think they'll kind of reap from us being the guinea pigs mm-hmm. they'll see what the, our problems were and probably fix them and their kids will have even if the world lasts that long yeah um, which who are we kidding it won't <laughs> who are you kidding just as long as I get my PPS yeah I oh think, I didn't really go into that I said that I was, was this originally what we were talking about I think so or the PPSH yeah oh my god I, yes. yeah <laughs> Jesus Christ Christ, man. <laughs> this is why we, oh my god, our podcasts are just tangents. They're not like <laughs> Wow. Jesus. Yeah, anyway. Going back to the PPS. <laughs> uh dude. We've spent like an hour and a half talking about <laughs> the free Okay. I just bought I just bought the Okay, we'll we'll end it soon. <laughs> Cuz I have to go to bed. Yeah. I will die if I I will die if I don't. Well, you will if you do, just at a later... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> prolonged period. Yeah. Um, so I bought the P99. Mm-hmm. I was going to buy the PPK. These are guns, by the way. Both guns. Both made by Walther, a German company. Both Bond guns. Mm-hmm. Famous Bond guns. And uh, it saved me about 100 bucks to go with the P99. So I did that. 
And then after getting it, I realized mm, that's not <laughs> that's not a very con- carry concealed weapon. Yeah. And our, you know what? One more tangent. Okay. Let's make let's keep it under an hour and a half this time. Let us talk about how you can't even trust the attorney general, the person who's supposed to be like the all sayer on the law, mm-hmm. because all they will speak in is non-binding resolutions. When I called, I looked up if Arkansas was a right to carry or constitutional carry to see if I could carry my pistol out with me. And the thing was like, yes and no. Like, what? So I read further and was like, well, the attorney general has said that it is his opinion that it is a constitutional carry, mm. but it's not explicit. I'm like, wait, hold on. So what? And it was like, you can go carry because that's the opinion of the attorney general, but the law is misinterpreted or interpreted correctly. Who knows? It's, state. it's interpretation. Wow. And so in one area, it's completely fine. But in another area, depending on the police chief or whatever, they could just arrest you. Mm-hmm. And uh, you'd have to try to prove in court that you weren't breaking the law. Mm. And uh, basically the law in Arkansas, what it states is it's not a, a criminal as long as your intent is to not cause harm mm-hmm. with your weapon. Or undo harm or whatever like that. If your only intention is to use it to protect yourself. But then it's just so open to gray interpretation. Area, yeah, it's yeah. a gray area. And the same thing with concealed carry. You don't have to have a permit for it. But then again, you can get stopped at any time. Mm-hmm. Back to the attorney general with uh, opinions. They were saying you cannot have a loaded gun in your car. Dude, I've read several different articles, and all of them contradict the other one. It's really mm-hmm. weird. You can't have a loaded gun in your car if you're inside of the county you're you're residing, unless you're on a journey outside of your county. Really? That allows it? Wait, what? So if I got stopped, could I just say I was on a journey, <laughs> and it's okay? I lo- Dude. They use the word journey? Yeah, they use Hell the... Yeah. It is in quotation marks. Hell journey yeah. outside of your county or something like that. Nice. And then I saw another thing that said uh, Resolution 1030 was that it is a constitutional carry. But then underneath it, it said it was non-binding, meaning, again, it's up for interpretation. Non-binding resolution. Mm. When you can't even ask your own attorney general, would I go to jail for this? Yeah. So I called the sheriff's office. And he said, hey, I was just wondering if I could uh, uh, open carry. And they're like, hold on, we'll give this to the state troopers. Mm. Or state police. And so they, I call. I'm like, hey, I just, I just got a gun. I was wondering if I could open carry. They're like, yes. I was, I was like, oh, really? Because it just seemed really ambiguous. And she's like, yeah, it is ambiguous, but we're just telling everybody you can. <laughs> oh, you're just telling everybody that, but you can still get in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm not open carrying. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm looking for a concealed carry. Mm-hmm. Which leads me to the PPS. There we go. Okay. A short tangent, as far as our tangent. Short go. tangent. Yeah, I'm just aggravated with how stupid the law is. Mm-hmm. Um, the PPS, it's a nice little, nice little butte, basically modeled after the gun I've already bought, but it is a compact gun. Mm-hmm. Still nine millimeter, or you can get it in a forty uh, Smith and Wesson. Oh really? I've never seen a forty caliber. If any is curious what a caliber is, it's just the dimensions of the cartridge. Yeah. Not speaking on how big the bullet is or anything like that, just how wide the cartridge is. Mm. The cartridge is. Cartridge being the full, what normal people call a bullet, but the mm. bullet is actually just the tip that goes outside of the muzzle. Right. The muzzle is the tip of the gun. <laughs> um, cartridge is made of the the bullet, the casing, and a primer. Unless we're speaking about a twenty two, which is a rim fire. And I think the primer is built into the casing somehow. The mm. rim is the casing. Interesting. Anyways, uh, I want to get the PPS, man. Yeah. We're going to conceal carry class together, right? Yeah. Glock 43X. Now, I want to talk about the prices of these things because I've heard that some of these classes can be free. Like some people do it for free. Mm-hmm. But also that some of them cost. And then also you have to... Get like a, a permit. Or apply. And, dude, this is the really tough part. Because somehow we are a permitless concealed carry, so we could carry mm-hmm. without a permit. But we could still get stopped and asked, and it might be against the law or might not. Depending on the local jurisdiction and stuff. Just depending on who wanted to do it. I yeah. mean, 
How messed up is that? It is pretty messed up. <laughs> okay, I'm ready for bed. All right, well. That was another bad podcast. That was another bad podcast. Yeah, thanks for listening. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Peace. Peace.